welcome i'm back with some wholesome college content i've been meaning to make like a video surrounding my school life kind of but i've never like gotten around to it and this is a what's in my bag video for college or university or campus i don't know is there a difference between these names please let me know so um today we're just gonna be looking at my bag my bag is very heavy but it's because of like the course i do and it's just a very basic bag like this bag is as basic as it gets i don't even have like stickers pins on it nothing it's just a bag from miniso it's just a miniso over there and yeah but the good thing is my course like demands such a bag i admire like the girls in my like class or school who like carry handbags and look bomb with them while i'm out here with a basic heavy backpack and yeah but i feel like it helps me carry everything that i need so let's just get to what's actually in my bag and i hope some of these tips kind of help you funny story like the way i came to do this video is because it was kind of requested but not even on my youtube comments do i have too much lip balm on not even on my YouTube comments, but someone like people, like two people asked me to do it in school, so I thought I'd just do it anyway. So yeah, let's just get to the video. Um, so the first thing that's in my bag is my laptop, because I don't know how you can survive without a laptop in university, college, campus, all the names. Because, okay, my laptop is just a HP laptop. It's basic. I like it because it's very tiny. And it's cute and it fits in my bag actually I used to carry this bag to school and my laptop actually fits here this bag is from MRP it was like 1600 well the Miniso one was like 1300 and um, this fit in both but when I started to borrow like heavier library books I could no longer carry my smaller bag and so I had to get like a bigger bag because those books are huge <laughs> So um, this laptop is the one that I use. I don't use my school one because, let me tell you, I don't know if it's mine only, but like when I give it a command, it takes, I can go, I shower, I eat breakfast, I come back and it's still loading. I can't, I cannot, my patient is so thin. It's not thick at all. So I had to get this one. This one is actually my dad's, but then he doesn't use it, so it's like it's mine. I use it for all my editing, my schoolwork, and it's actually faster. I really like it, and I like it because it fits in my little pocket. There's a little pocket here at the back. I'm just going to try and show it to you. This, like, flap one. So I just put it in there. And then the next thing that I carry is my laptop charger so funny story <laughs> i have so many stories in this video i don't know if i should call it a story time or what's in my bag so there's a day that i hadn't carried my laptop charger and i thought i charged my laptop overnight and so i went to school and this is a lecture that the lecturer she sent us an email she told us in class she told us please carry your laptops like it's going to be very essential in the next lecture and we're going to be using it like the whole time so me i put my laptop in my bag and I come to school, I'm ready. She's like, okay, take out your laptops, open it, switch it on. My laptop was not charged. It could not come on. I was in. <sighs> I looked around class and everyone's laptop is like, you know, covering their face. Everyone is busy. I'm there dry. No laptop. I can't do anything. I'm feeling so dumb because she said we carried one and I should have just carried my So I'm just out here thinking I should have carried my charger because we always have like sockets down on the table and if I just carried my charger I would have something to do during the lesson so long story short a charger is very important um, next charger that is important is your phone charger and I know you're out here looking at me like ah uh, Timina what charger is that for that like <laughs> what charger does that phone charge well, you see, what happened is, I went for a sleepover, and this is where my, the adapter for my iPhone charger was first lost. And then, I lost, you know the way this iPhone chargers, like, get, like, ripped over here? Yeah, that's what happened to mine, and since I'm very broke, I just bought a Miniso one, which I like, because it's, like, really long, two feet. As you can see, I really shop at Miniso a lot. Miniso, please sponsor me. Thanks. So yeah, 
So the reason you should carry a charger is another funny story. <laughs> story time. Tea time. It's tea time, guys. So there's a day. I left my charger at home and I remember telling myself, mental note, Timina, please carry this charger because your phone might die. And I was like, ah, no, I only have one class, so it's not that important. I'll just come and charge after. So that day I had like 16% and then we went to KFC just across the road from my school to have lunch with my friends. And my phone was at like on 16%. So uh, I was making fun, roasting people's music taste and all like I usually do, like my music taste is any better. It's because... My music taste is really roasted a lot, and so I was just doing the same. So people start playing my music to hear um, like what type of taste I have, and this was the point. I should have just taken my phone, called an Uber, and gone home. So um, <laughs> my phone was like in 16%, and then it went to like 8%. So uh, my friend told me to take him somewhere to see whether his friends were there so that he could go home with them, and then I just called my Uber and go home. So I take him, and I'm not even looking at my phone at this point. And then after that, he didn't find his friend, so we go back to school, and we go back to the student center. And it's a Friday, and it's after two, so the student center is empty, like there's no life. There's no life in the student center on Friday after two, so there's no one. And then I want to call an Uber, so I just press the icon, you know, Uber. My phone is on 7% at this point, and I just press the icon, and my phone dies. What? Phones don't even dive in than 8%. And so I'm like, okay, I tell my friend, um, can I use your phone to call my Uber? Then I tap what? I tap Uber again. What does it do? His phone dies. So we're both here. There are sockets around us. We can't charge our phones. I'm looking around the STC, student center. There's nobody. <laughs> the only girl I know is over there and um, her charger cannot charge mine. And no one's charger can also charge his phone. So we just sit there like, okay. And I was so stranded and if I had just carried this thing I wouldn't have been stranded and I would have called my Uber and have gone home so guys please Tifa carry your charges okay so the next thing I'm so dramatic in this video the next thing I have in my bag is just a like a thermal flask like you can use it to carry tea I don't know coffee your preferences I just use it to carry water and my mom just got this from a company, I don't know, Grass Sabo, this company that's here. And I like it because if I put cold water here, it will keep my water pretty cold until like the end of the day. And I can still drink cold water. Plus, we can refill our bottles in school. So you can still achieve your goals of staying hydrated throughout the whole day. And you don't have to drink one bottle. You can even drink like seven bottles or like eight bottles, whatever your target of drinking water is. <laughs> So yeah, a bottle is also really essential. Um, the next thing I have in my bag is this pouch or like toilet bag. It's from Miniso. I mean, Miniso, please sponsor me. As you can see, I'm out here really representing. So actually, I'm not going to say funny story again. I'm going to be calling this tea time. So the first thing I have in here is a deodorant stick and it's really a cute deodorant stick it's called freezing deodorant and guess where it's from again miniso so if you're getting the vibe here can tag miniso this video i mean i have so much stuff from them so always carry deal because what happened was it's another story more tea tea time so um it's been really hot in nairobi in january as you can see it's a burning furnace outside that's why I'm even wearing an off shoulder and a skirt under here. So uh, my friend X, I'm just going to call her X because if I say her name, she's going to kill me. First torture me, then kill me. Torture me slowly, then kill me. So it was really hot and, you know, um, she had worn like a sweater. And this X person had like a huge sweat patch. <laughs> so the thing is, yeah, X wanted to like... You know the way you have a sweat patch, you get anxiety that everyone can see the sweat patch and you feel like everyone is looking at it and the sweat patch isn't even that big but then you feel like when you walk into class everyone is going to look at it even though we're actually not even looking at it. But yeah, you know those things, yeah. So um, she wanted to like air herself out and then I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I should just tell X to remove her sweater so she can stay with her vest but uh, do you know my school? Do you know that you cannot show this part of your flesh in my school? Yeah, so it's like a rule. So um, she had to go air herself in the bathroom. And then she's wondering why me over there, I'm thriving, looking calm. 
cool and collected and then she's like how what and it's really hot outside and i was also wearing something kind of heavy and so i'm like i go like you know deodorant always carry a deodorant stick around so you can just get you can go like on break just get refreshed but one minute no like that was for something else now i'm recording recording the video Mm. so the next thing that i just have in my pouch is just lip balm because i don't know my lips are always chapped sometimes and so i just use lip balm to rectify that the next thing i have in this bag is just pads because you never know when mother nature can decide to strike out of nowhere so just always have them or have that app you know like flow that's going to track your flow Oh, that's why it's called flow. It's going to track your flow so that you know when it's about to come and then you carry them instead of always having them in your bag. But I just always have them in my bag because sometimes Mother Nature can be a bit surprising, you know. She likes surprises. Um, the next thing I just have in my bag are some pens, highlighters, glitter pens, other pens. You can tell I'm a bit extra with my notes because there are so many colors. I have blue, purple, black and yellow orange i just use this to kind of like decorate my notes which is actually pretty unnecessary but i'm a very visual person so when like my notes are like rainbows you know colors i'm also canva so they mean that's why i just feel like yes it's time it's time to absorb information you know it's time to read that's that's how i feel um the next thing that i have in my bag is just a short ruler because i use this really weird cornell university way of writing notes that we were taught in first year which i'm pretty sure no one uses probably if they're my class thinking i'm a bit crazy but yeah i still use that method because i really liked it it keeps my thoughts in order because usually my thoughts are all over the place and so this just keeps me in order and the next thing i have is an essential ladies and gentlemen tea farm gum gum and skittles like if you're in my class, you hear this sound during most lessons, and that's me just getting gum. I don't know, it keeps me in focus, and so the reason I buy this Orbit one is because it has so many pellets, and it's 50 bob. So instead of buying, like, gum that's going to end in, like, a minute, I buy this really big one, and it lasts me, like, even a week, and it can even go to the next week, which is a really big step for me because I'm always chewing. Uh, yeah, that's my whole, like, miniso pouch. The next thing I have is just like a notebook. I mean, this is a pretty basic notebook, student notebook by Kartasi. Is it Kartasi or Kartasi? No, actually, it's Kartasi, but here it's like Kartasi. So, um, so my book is just pretty basic. This is the Cornell way of writing notes, by the way. That's why I use the ruler. And yeah, I just carry this type of book that folds like this. Because, you know, desk space, like, our desks are, like, a long thing, and then we all share it. So, like, desk hand space is limited. So, I just like folding this so that I can have, like, my own writing space, kind of. And it just helps to fold it, and then, like, the papers don't come out. Like, in those other books, if you fold them like this and write them on like this, your papers start getting weaker and weaker, and they can just, like, come out. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of notebooks like this in my bag, nothing special. The next thing I have is a really heavy textbook. This is the reason I really started carrying like my bigger bag because when you have such a textbook, surely, and, and this is like one, and then you'll borrow like another one. So you need like two textbooks like this to fit in your bag. So there's no way you can be carrying around that tiny bag, at least for me. I mean, my bag would tear. Um... Next thing I just have in my bag is a planner and I feel like this is really essential because my mom my mom got me this and my, my sister and my cousin this for Christmas so that we can just plan ourselves out. Like for me it just has like my plan for the day, to-do list for the day, like if you're given an assignment I'm going to write the due date over here so that I never forget and I always look at this notebook like every morning to know what I need to do that day, if I need to go borrow a book, if I need to go return a book because it was this day I was fined so much money for a book okay it was so much money because that confused my book for a uh, in shelf book and so i went to the library and then they're like hi um you have an outstanding debt for the library it's like 1600 and i'm like what i mean excuse me 
Because you know, I know that when a book is overdue, I'm going to pay like five bob, you know, then like ten bob, then like fifteen bob. I got a thousand bob. So I just, okay, it was not my fault. It was the library's fault. <laughs> but then I just write like due dates. I just write like, if I have a business plan, if I have any plans for that week, I'll just write it in this book. And then it helps that it has the date and like the number here. So it's really easy. And I like the design on the top anyway. It's a really cute book. So this is like my planner. The next thing I just have in my bag is this name tag that we get when you're enrolled into my uni and it just literally has your name and then yeah and then your university and maybe the, the course you're doing like here's mine yeah basically lecturers really like you to put this thing on top of like your desk it's usually like a ridge <laughs> so ridge but like somewhere you can place it and then the lecturer can like just call you out so they don't have to be like you yes you you with the red shirt no your neighbor to the right then you're like you know that thing for you pretend that you then you look behind and they're like not the person behind you then you're like not the person beside you and you're like <laughs> like me yeah so i think this was to prevent such awkward happenings because they'll just be like um semo can you tell us which is also a bit it has to keep you on your toes, yeah? Because, like, when the lecturer says remove your name tags and you're not really in class, and then they're like, Samuel, can you answer that? And your mind is like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And so the next thing that I just have in my bag is a wallet. Very basic. Just has my ID cards, you know. Right now, pretty empty. Just really just has coins. Yeah. You can, you can feel how my week is going. <laughs> and the next thing... <laughs> I don't know what that is. The bag also has like two other pockets, one on this side and one on this side. So on this side, I don't even keep anything in these other pockets because um, I have earphones which do not work. I don't know if you guys are going to start a GoFundMe for me to get me like earphones. I have no iPhone gadget, you know. These are also earphones <laughs> from Miniso because they're cheaper by far and they're still good. But this one's got spoiled anyway, but I still use them as a mic when I'm doing like voiceovers and then what else do I have here I have lip balm more lip balm for some reason and then on this other side I have a clicks club card for some reason I got this when I went to SA because the woman forced me you know when we they want you to take something but you're not you don't have the heart to tell them no so that's why I have this card and then Tampons for those people who use tampons. Let me can I just be honest? I'm terrified to use tampons Very terrified and I don't know you can give me some sisterly advice if you can. Yes, please comment down below I don't even know why they're in my bag because Maybe for the day I'll gain like courage and then I've just literally found a necklace that I thought I had lost and I'm actually really happy about that so that's basically what I have in my bag. I don't know, maybe I inspired you to carry a few things that you never thought of putting in there with my dramatic stories. I mean, my, I really take a lot of L's um, since I started university. But you know, you can't spell college without a few L's. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny, guys. So yeah, actually, like in my the Uber story, I know you're probably thinking, ah, Tamina, you know you would have just jumped home, yeah? But then let me tell you there's something like my jabbing like the stage it's all good from where i'll cross to kenyatta and then from kenyatta to valley road now the valley road stage Shaka, at like five you can think there's a crusade because there's so many people and then the thing is them they're going all the way to kangwari and me i'm just going like five stops after of which i could walk but then i don't like walking alone and that time it was pretty late so yeah it was just really stressful and then also that day i just had to go all the way to town and then take a 46 to where i live because i even prefer that imagine i prefer going all the way to town which is like going like on a round trip but yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you're like me and you take many l's in college university campus again all the names please like this video and if you like more You'd like like more college content maybe like a day in the life or something i don't know i'd like to film that so you can just comment down below what other like college related wholesome <laughs> content you'd like to see on my channel and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys 
so much and i'm thinking of doing a get to know me video because i feel like i just started this channel for fun and then i didn't even think about introducing myself and then now i'm trying to get more serious so like i should probably introduce myself maybe do a sister tag maybe a mom tag maybe something like that like see more of my personal side of life than just me coming hey guys here's a video here's another video here are more videos you don't even know who i am you don't know how old i am you like don't even know my I'm talking too fast when my birthday is like you don't know anything about me so i was thinking of also recording a get to know me video something to do with like more my more personal life i feel like including that but you know i still got you this other type of videos like diy box braids or like cheap makeup and yeah thank you so much for coming to my channel today for those who are new my name is tamina semo tamina kabelwa semo and yeah you can subscribe for more videos I really, my new resolution is to post twice a month and if I can post more times then that's like, you know, added bonus. But I'm going to be filming a lot of videos and then I'll be editing them and just posting them so that it can be more like frequent so that you guys at least can miss me, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and watching this video and yeah, I hope to see you guys in more of my other videos and I hope to produce so much more content for you guys this year thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and then you can turn on that bell thing post notifications it's free it's fun like yeah you just get to be notified every time i post and yeah so that like i cannot post a video and then you guys are like tamina where is the content and you know i've posted the content so yeah thank you i know i've said thank you so many times but thank you so much for watching really appreciate it guys and i'll see you guys probably in a few days or next week or just so wait or turn on post notifications to know when i post and yeah thank you so much bye love you guys so much and stay safe take do not take else like me in university and i'll see you guys next time